Hello YouTubers! I am here with the Friends Around the World 6th Crochet Along. This one is Adventures in Mosaic Crochet. So this is my coral strip. And I'm going to use this as my previous section. You will have a project from a different designer and then you'll have a um, there's no foundation in my pattern because it's just a continuation. So we're going to use this as the other pattern that you've already done. And you will also notice mine is very short. Yours is probably the width of a blanket. So you will have this section. You're going to repeat it over and over. I only need to show it to you once because you can just rewind the video. So we are going to start row one main color, which for me is going to be this coral color we do a joining stitch. So I put the slip knot on my hook, which I'm using five millimeter as the rest of the patterns, just the same. Find that first stitch and just go into it like a normal, um, perhaps you're newer to crochet, but you just go under both those loops. We're just doing a normal single crochet. That's my joining stitch. It locks in nice and tight. Then I have the star that tells you that this is the section you'll be repeating. Row one and two are very simple. You're just doing single crochet. So you can count them if you're not sure if your count is right, but um, it's going to be 48 single crochet all the way across. And you're going to be doing the back loops only because this is called overlay mosaic, which means all of these stitches are in the back loops. And if you read the key of my pattern, you will see that I've made that distinction there. But for ease of reading the actual pattern, I just put SC for single crochet. And you have to remember that you are doing a mosaic pattern and that it means single crochet in the back loop only. I just shortened it because then the pattern doesn't look so bulky, okay? So you okay, so if you're counting, you wanna make sure that you've done your whole blanket 48, then start again, 48, 48, 48, 48, until you get to the end. When you do your final stitches at the end, this is my 48th single crochet here. Then I have to add one more single crochet that balances my pattern and do my final end stitch, which means I'm going under both loops and I'm adding this little, it's like a chain, only instead of leaving it as an extra chain, And then I just pull it through here to make my knot. Now we are on row two. We're using our contrasting color. This nice light blue for the ocean. Starting with a join stitch under both those loops, right? Joining stitch under both loops. And then just single crochet across again. You can count if you are unsure about your stitch count. Otherwise, just Go quick all the way across. All right, if you've been counting or if you're getting to finally the end of your blanket, remember that we're going to do that 48 repeated as many times as you've been doing your repeats. Sorry, I have a short tail. I had to redo this one. I already cut it, but we're going to still use it. So this is my 48 stitch and that balancing single crochet one more. And my end stitch goes right under both loops to lock it in tight at the end. Pull it through like a single crochet and add another chain. To, that's the little knot. So we're back to using our main color. This is row three. Do your slip knot. And that joining stitch goes right under both loops. If you have a hard time finding your first and last stitch, you might want to use some stitch markers. You don't want to be miscounting, that will ruin your picture. So, we're going to start with five single crochets, of course, in the back loop only. Three, four, five, and then, oops, and then our double crochets. Whenever I have more than one double crochet in a in a place, I like to lock it in. So I do the first half. Now there's two loops left. Instead of yarning over and pulling it through, I'm going to insert it through the back loop of that previous row 
and then I'm going to do both of them. And that really locks it in. You can see here's where I didn't lock it in. This is what happens. And even three, it does get a bit of a bump. It's not much of a bump, but it is a bump. And if you lock it in, these top two rows here, they're all locked in and it's all flat. The front is still going to be your design. This just keeps everything nice and tight. It's definitely a personal preference. You don't have to do this part. I just don't like those flappy things. They make the project curl a bit more. So I lock it in. If there's only one double crochet, I tend to just leave it because one doesn't really give a bump. But it does make it more uniform if you lock all of them in. So that is up to you. I locked them in if there's three or more. The next part of my pattern says three single crochets. So we're using the back loops there. And then we have brackets. The bracket means do what's in the bracket. It says double one, single crochet three. And remember if you do the double, if you don't lock it in, which you would use that loop, if you don't use that loop to lock it in, make sure you're skipping it when you do your next. Otherwise you'll be adding stitches and that will be a problem. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do that bracket two times. So we've done it once, now we're gonna start at the beginning of the bracket, double one, single crochet three. Then we have three double crochets. So we're gonna do the first half normal, then we're gonna go under there, lock them. If you have a hard time finding the front loop, sometimes you might need to count the stitches that are missed as well. It's really just a lot of counting. And also you can kind of see it doesn't, it feels like it tilts a little bit. So when you're finding the stitch to use, um, make sure you do the first part of the double crochet. Then you kind of have to go backwards behind your stitch to find the next part to lock it in. Then we do three single crochets, one, two, three, then one double crochet, then three single crochets again, double, single, then three doubles, so I'm going to do the first part, and I'm going to grab that loop, lock it in, use the first part, grab that loop, lock it in, and double, that's the first part, grab that loop and lock it in. Then we have three single crochets. So we have one double crochet. I don't bother locking it in when there's just one. Single crochet three. Then three doubles. So I drop down, do the first half, grab that loop. Kind of feels like you have to go behind your stitch because that's exactly where it is. So you just have to do a little bit of gymnastics there and reach back. If it's too hard, don't worry about it. It is not a requirement. Then three single crochet. Oops, sorry, my yarn split. I'm going to try again. One double. And that's where the star is. So if you have more blanket, now is when you go back to the row where it says single crochet five, it has the star. You need to redo that until you get to the end of your blanket. You see, I had to retape this, so I've already cut my yarn, but uh, now if you've got to the end of your blanket and you finished that as many times as you need, you do that joining, or sorry, you do that single crochet to balance it out. And then your final stitch is the end stitch, which goes under both loops and has that little extra knot. 
And that's the end of row three. Row four, we're back to our coordinating color. Do our joining stitch right at the end here. And starts with three double crochets. So drop it down, lock it in. Three. Then five singles. One double, three single crochets, now we've got to the brackets, so we're going to do this twice, one double crochet and then five singles, one double, single five, four, three, two, one start back at the bracket says one double crochet got to find my little loop there and five singles one double crochet three single crochets We've got a longer set of brackets this time, but as long as we just follow along, it'll be fine. So we do one double, one single, one double, and five singles. Oops. Two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do the brackets again. One double, one single, one double, and five singles. Oh, my yarn is very splitty today. Must be the weather. Who knows? One, two, three, four, five, then we have three doubles, so this is when I like to lock them in, do the first part, lock it in, do the first half, lock it in, and lock that one in too one single crochet if you are repeating now you go back to that first star and do your double crochet three but i'm at the end so i'm going to do the balancing single crochet and the end stitch and i did have my scissors i put them up high to keep them out of reach my little ones sometimes you can hear them in the videos dad takes care of them when it's time for me to work on a video so sometimes they can still get a bit noisy. <laughs> Joining stitch, three single crochets. You will notice it would be impossible for me to say do a double crochet here because this is already covering the loop that you would grab. Then one double. Oops. One single and three doubles. Oh, I forgot to lock it in. I like to lock it in when I have three. Let me rewind that. Sometimes I cut my mistakes out because I can do that with the video editing. And other times it's much easier just to keep going and show you that I made a mistake and it's easily fixed. Then we have one single, and then those brackets, they're not so scary anymore. 
we're going to do one double one single one double one single then we're out of the brackets we're going to continue on for one double three singles one two three then another double and a single and three doubles so i'm going to lock them in again this time double one double two double three one single crochet then we're bracketing again we're going to do twice double crochet one single crochet three that was a second time now to do the double crochet one single crochet three then three double crochets one and two three one single crochet one double crochet three singles get that little tail out of the way single one single two single three got my other tails creeping up on me from my yarn over here one double one single three doubles so I'm gonna lock these ones in again whenever there's three or more I like to lock them and if you're tired of hearing me say that I'm sorry I do repeat myself on the videos because I'm never sure what I'm gonna edit out <laughs> there's the third and then three singles one double and you would go back to the beginning where the star is do single crochet three blah blah blah, blah. i'm at the end so i'm going to do my balancing single crochet and that end stitch row six we're using our contrasting color do our slip knot and our joining stitch which is really another way of saying a standing single crochet if you ever see that in a pattern it's the same thing now we're going to start with brackets right away. We're going to do one double crochet and three singles. We're going to do that twice. So there's one. Oh, I'm splitting here again. Let me try that. Two. Three single crochets. Then we're going to do a double. It's in between. There is a stitch in between there. You just got to find it. There's a double and three singles then the next set of brackets we're going to do this three times we're going to do double single double single double single one and two and three That's how I count them. The next set of brackets is a double crochet one, single crochet three. We're going to do that just twice. So we'll do one double crochet here and three singles. And then another double crochet with three singles. I was trying to move my thumb out of the way so you could see my stitches better but then I can't get my hook in so I'm trying to find a balance between getting my hands out of the way and actually still being able to crochet 
Now we're out of the brackets, we've done our brackets, and we are ready to do double single double. Sometimes I can read about three instructions at a time before my brain gets lost. Then three singles. Remember to count all your skipped stitches if you're having trouble finding the right one. One double. Five singles. We're going to go into that funny gap again. And then one double. I wonder if you guys can hear the music downstairs. Dad likes to entertain them by putting on some kids music and then they dance and giggle. And it's super fun, but sometimes they can get pretty loud. Let's see what I was doing. Uh, I did my single crochet five, one double. Now I'm doing three singles. One, two, three. One double. One single. The next double has to go in between that gap again. There is a stitch in there. So we gotta find it. Then five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then another double and a single. And that's the end of our repeat. Um, like I've said many, many times, you're going to start at the beginning of that star again because you have more project. I am going to balance myself and do my end stitch with my knot. Your tails don't have to be very long unless you're planning to twist them or something because you're at row seven. Back to our main color, which is coral for me. I'm going to join my stitches right on here under both loops, nice and secure. Then we start with a single crochet. Then we're at brackets. That's a nice long bracket again. So we're going to do one double crochet, three singles, one, two, three. And then another double and a single. In that bracket, we're going to start again. We're going to do double crochet one, single crochet three. Oh, my yarn is very splitty. Three, two, one, and a double and a single to finish off these brackets. The next part says one double crochet and five singles. So one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet and one single crochet. If I'm going too fast for you, you can slow the YouTube videos down. There's an option. Should be on your screen in the little settings. You can make it go at half speed. We're at brackets that say do one double crochet and three singles times two. So that's our first set. I'm going to do it again. One double, three singles. And then another set of the double single, double single. So just doing that bracket twice. So we only have one and two and the next brackets. This is row has a lot of brackets in it. One double crochet and three singles. We're doing that twice. One double crochet and three singles. Then 
And this one we're going to do twice, double single, double single. So we go one and two and then we're going to outside of the brackets, one double crochet and two singles. And that's the end of our star. So you go back to the beginning till you get to the end of your blanket. You're going to add that balancing stitch and your end stitch under both the loops. And give it a little tug. Row eight, our coordinating color. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know my voice gets a bit blah sometimes, so I do like crocheting, but I have to focus on what I'm doing. So I am enjoying this. I hope you are too. One double crochet, one single crochet, then our brackets say do one double and three singles two times. One double, single one, two, three. And one double in between that little gap there, you can find your loop and three singles. When we're out of the brackets, we're just going to do one double crochet, one single crochet, and our new bracket says to do this three times. So we're doing one double crochet and three singles. Now we have to do it again. Now this one you might need to count because it's quite a long loop. One, two, three. That's the one that we want to find. Okay. One double crochet and three singles. That's our second time doing this bracket. So we want to do it three times. So here we go one double crochet and three singles one two three and the next bracket set we're going to do this four times all the way to the end so we're going to do double single double and then three singles okay so one one single one double and then three singles. Oops, go in there. One, two, three. And we're going to do it again. One double, one single, another double, and three singles. One, two, three. Oops, I'm splitting again. I'm sorry about that. That's what you do. I got this yarn on sale when it was on clearance and there's a reason I guess people don't really like it. Then we're going to do it a third time. Here we go. One double, one single, another double, and three singles. And here's our final time. We're going to do one double, one single, one double, and three singles. So if you're using stitch markers to keep track of how many times you've done your repeats, just make sure you're putting it always on the first stitch or always on the last stitch or right in between there, you know. Um, Sorry, I should have counted better for you. One, two, three. That's the end of my repeat. And then this is my, this is outside of the star. I'm doing my balancing single crochet and the end stitch right there. And they're both loops. Cutting that off. There we go. And then I have 
have my computer up here to show me the pattern. I usually read the pattern directly off of my phone. A lot of people have said they use Pattern Keeper, and I haven't tried it yet. I just use my very basic PDF reader. But obviously I'm using my phone to videotape, so I have to bring my computer up here. Nine, main color. Do our joining stitch. Then we do three single crochets. One, two, three. Then a double and a single. And a double and three singles. One double and five singles. One, two, three, four, five. We've got a set of brackets here, so we're going to repeat these brackets twice. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and three singles. Do that bracket again. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, oh, get right under there, and three single crochets. Outside of the bracket, we're going to do another double crochet. Three singles, then in our brackets, we're going to do double single two times. So here's one double, and here's the second double. Don't forget the single as well. Outside of the brackets, we're doing one double crochet and three singles. And double single double and five single crochets two three four five here's our double And if you're repeating, of course, you need to go back to where the star is. Once you get to the end of your blanket, do that balancing single crochet and the end stitch. And cut that one off. We are on row 10. You are joining stitch oops get back on there <laughs> our bracket says do one double crochet and three single crochets one two three and do it again between those sticks so go one and then three single crochets I had fun drawing this one with all the twists and turns of the coral and trying to make them balanced but not repetitive because coral is so random it's kind of fun then one double crochet and five singles one two Three, four, five. Then we're in our brackets again. We're going to do a double and a single two times. So let's do it again. Double, 
and a single. And then we're going to do the next set of brackets, a double with three singles. So one double, three singles. Do it twice. One double, three singles. Now our long brackets again, they're not so scary anymore, I hope. We're going to do one double, one single, one double, and three singles. We're just going to do that three times. So this is our first little iteration of that. Now let's do it again. One double, one single, one double, three singles. And we're going to do it a third time. Here's our double, single, double, and three singles. Three, two, oh. There we go, two, one. Now we're out of the brackets. We're going to do one double crochet, then three singles, and you'll be starting at your star again until you get to the end of your blanket. We're going to do our balancing single crochet, and that end stitch. And that's the end of row 10. So we are in row 11. I've had the question a few times of how to know which row you're on. So what I do is I just count my tails. This is from my previous section. This was row 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So our next Cora 1 is row 11. That's how I know where I am. If you were doing one of my regular patterns, the very first row is row 0. And then I count by twos going that direction. But so of course we're going to start with our joining stitch. Then we will do those brackets right away. We're doing single double, single double. Oops, sorry. Single. Double. Then three singles. And the brackets again, only this time it's double single, double single. Another set of brackets, we're going to do two sets of double one and single three. Single one, single two, single three. We'll repeat it, so one double crochet and three singles. Then we'll do one double crochet and five singles. Three, four, five. Double crochet one, single crochet three. Then a longer set of brackets here, but it's not so scary. We're going to do double, single, double, and then three singles. We're going to do it twice. Double crochet one, single crochet one, double crochet one, single crochet three. And then we're going to do that brackets again. 
one double single, I mean one double crochet, <laughs> one single crochet, and one double crochet. Oh, my splitty yarn is being silly again. Wiggle. And three singles. And we're going to do double single, double single. Another double, two singles, which gets us to the end of that star. So this is where you're going to start at the beginning. Keep those brackets again, but when you get to the end of your blanket, do that balancing single crochet in the back loop. And then the end stitch is a single crochet under both loops with that extra knot thing. Row 12 our blue color this time. It's our joining stitch. Then two single crochets. One double. Three singles. Oh, go in there. And our brackets, we're going to do double crochet one, single crochet one, repeat it, double crochet one, single crochet one. And then outside the brackets, we've got one double crochet, three singles, one, two, three, then we've got a double single double. Five single crochets. We got one, two, three, four, five. Then our brackets, we're going to do this twice one double crochet and three singles. Do it again, drop it down for one double crochet and three singles. Another double in between those two coral there. One single. Then we're at the brackets again with the double one and single three times two. Just do it again, double one, single three. And our last bracket says to do the double single four times. So I just count my doubles and then I do this and. So one and, this would be two and three. And four and that helps remember to have to finish the and. <laughs> now if you're doing stars, of course, you're gonna go to the back, but we are balancing it off now and ending our row so we can cut it off. 13, we're back to using our main color, which is this pretty coral. Mine's actually called tomato. I didn't have a coral, but hopefully it's sufficient. And everybody still sees coral when they look at my picture. Starting with three single crochets. Then a double single double. Oh. 
then another three single crochets And then our brackets telling us to do double single, double single. So I do one and two and then a double with three single crochets. And this brackets double single times six. So we're gonna go one and two and three. And four. Outside of the brackets, we're just going to do a double and three single crochets. One, two, three. Then one double and five single crochets. Oh, my, my hands aren't really cooperating, I guess, right now. I'm getting ahead of myself and letting my yarn slip off. I get a little bit of video jitters because I get nervous. <laughs> then we're back to brackets. We're going to do one double crochet and then three singles. And we're going to repeat that. So one double crochet and three singles. You would think I don't need to be nervous. I did plenty of theater throughout high school and university, but I get nervous. One double, and then that's the end of our star. So you're gonna start back at your first star, but we are going to balance it out with our single in the back and our ending stitch under both loops. And cut it off. Row 14. Start with our joining stitch, of course, like every other row. Put it under both loops, make sure you're finding the right stitch. And we're going to start with one double and three single crochets. One, two, three. Then a double single double. Mm -hmm. And then three singles. Our brackets say double single, double single. Find that one in there. Then one double crochet and three singles. Then five sets of the double single. So we're going to count them. One and find your stitch. Two and three and four. And five, and that finishes our brackets. And we have one double crochet with three singles. And 
then a double crochet with five singles. One double single double, double single double, then three singles, then three doubles. So I'm going to lock these ones in on the top part of the stitch. One single crochet, then back to your stars. Do this again until you reach the end of your blanket. Our balancing single and our end stitch goes right under there. There we go. And cut it off. Row 15. Your joining stitch, of course. Keep your little tails out of the way unless you've been covering them up or whatever you're planning to do with them. Do a single, then a double. Then three singles. And a double single. brackets are telling us to repeat five times one double single with three sorry one double crochet with three singles so if you have a hard time remembering you might want to use stitch markers you could either have five stitch markers or put one here so that you know this is where you're going to start counting so this is one set one double and three singles so this will be our second set Oops, gotta get all my little strings in there. Two, 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 that's how I remember in my head. Then this is three. And three, 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 three. I just say it a hundred times so that I'll never forget. Unless a little child interrupts me and then I do forget and then I have to count. <laughs> Four. With the teeny singles. And our fifth iteration, I don't know if iteration is the right word, but it makes me sound maybe smarter if I use big words, right? <laughs> double single, double single. I don't really care about sounding smarter. I'm just babbling because I can do that. And you can't tell me to stop talking because it's a video. You can mute me though if you find my words distracting. One double crochet, five singles, two, three, four, five, then a double single double. And eight singles all the way across here. One, two, three, four. Oh, you kind of missed one there. Try again. Five, six, seven, eight. Now you would be adding another one for that first single crochet, then a double crochet, right? Do we get to the end? Balance it off, add your end stitch. Put 
We're at row 16. Row 16 with the joining stitch. The brackets say double, single, double, and three singles times two. So we'll one double, one single, one double, three singles. Then repeat that bracket. So we're going to do it again. One double. One single, one double, three singles. Then we have three doubles, so I'm going to lock them in. Remember that if it's getting too hard for you to find that loop, this is optional. There's the third one. Then a single crochet and a set of three doubles again. So I'm going to lock them in again. This is near the top of our coral. The ocean is showing more. Then three singles. One double, oops, missed my loop, try again. One single, and another set of three doubles. So do the first half, then lock it in. Do the first two loops, and then lock it in. Here's our third double crochet, locking it in single, double, single. My brackets tell us to repeat twice. A double crochet, three singles, okay. So this is our second repeat of the brackets, doing one double crochet and three singles, then one double crochet in between there, one single, and eight double crochets across. So this one I really like to lock it in because it makes a bit of a flap. You don't have to lock in every stitch if you haven't been locking them in. Maybe you only want to lock them in every now and then, or lock in none, whoops, or lose your stitch completely like me. <laughs> there we go, try again. There's three. Seven, and eight. If you are not at the end of your blanket and you're repeating, you're going to be starting with a final double crochet in this little grouping. So you might want to lock in the first double crochet as well. When you get to the end of your blanket, of course, just balance it off with a single and put your end stitch and chop it off. Row 17, our main color again, getting near the end here. So do our joining stitch, keep your tail out of there, unless of course that's where you want it, but I don't want mine in there. Start with three single crochets. One, two, three, then do a double single double. 
double single double three singles one double then 11 singles one two and we're on top of the chunk there three four five six seven eight nine two more here ten the eleven then one double crochet that's that little coral branch seven single crochets now so one two three four five six seven then a double crochet and three singles one two three then double single double Whoops, make sure you, I, there we go, 12 singles, which you will add 3 if you're doing your repeats, so you'll get 15, but I'm only going to do 12 because this is the end of my blanket, 5, 6, 7, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then you're balancing single crochet with the end stitch. So eighteen back to our blue, do our joining right under there starting with three doubles so I'm going to lock mine in single double single putting it right in between those two coral sticks then another set of three doubles so I'm gonna lock those ones in again as well One single, 11 doubles, so of course I want to lock these in, or you want to at least lock some of them in, or maybe you don't care about the bumps, so it's fine. I'm going to lock all 11 of mine in. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
nine. Ten. And eleven. We can't put a double in the next stitch because that coral stick is there. So that helps you know when to end this section of doubles. We're just going to put one single crochet over that tip of the coral and go back to doubles. So we're going to do seven of them. One, two, In there four five six and seven again we have run into the coral so that's how we know we cannot put any more doubles anyways we're gonna put one single crochet above the tip of that coral and go back to only one double and three singles with a curly coral then one double one single and double cross the rest of here so we're gonna go one two Three, four, if you find it slowing you down too much to lock them in, that's when you might want to do it your own way. And if you're doing a repeat, the next part where the star begins is more doubles. So you may want to lock them in, but this is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here's my 12th. Oops, I don't want to loop again, I just want to pull it through. Single crochet to balance it, and one end stitch. We're at row 19. We're using our main color. We're nearly finished. I'm going to put our joining stitch in. Now we'll do 31 single crochets across, okay? One. So that first coral plant is done. We didn't join anything. This second coral plant here is also done. We're not joining anything to it. I'm going to keep going right across the top. So we're putting one double crochet into the middle spike of this, this plant here. So you're going to skip this one, that one's staying low, and this one's staying low. We're just putting one at the top. And then we're doing single crochets again all the way across. And you'll be repeating, of course, so maybe you want to, if you're not fond of counting all your stitches you could just pay attention to the plants right skip that one skip that one add it skip that one skip that one skip that one add it if that helps you i don't know maybe it's uh, more confusing for some of you and you'd rather just count 31 one double crochet then 16 plus keep going because you're going to do the next 31 double crochet right and mine when you get to the end of course you're going to just add that balancing single crochet in the back loop 
here this one is the the back loop single crochet plus an end stitch and row 20 this is our final row for the coral this one is mostly double crochets it's the exact opposite of the previous row we're covering up all the coral stitches that we just put in there we're just going to cover them up with blue because we want to see the ocean so we're going to do 16 and 31 double crochets with only one single crochet right at that top where you can't put a double crochet and of course, because there's such a long strip, I'm going to lock all of mine in. You can choose, like I've said before, you don't have to lock them all in if you find it too fiddly. You can just do every second or every third or every tenth, whatever. Uh, I have to always pause my videos because my children run in. Mommy, mommy, Alice hurt her leg. And then I hear a scream. And I run out there and dad is tickling her because she barely scratched her leg. <laughs> and it's just a joke. But Remy thought it was serious. And it's adorable. Except for it's also irritating because here I am so close to finishing my video. And of course, mommy, mommy is very important. So that is why when you watch my video, you will see that it cuts in and out all the time. I have to cut out children crying and... Then I only have like 20 minutes at a time to work on it because children, but we get it done. It just takes a week to do an hour long video. <laughs> and then of course there's the editing, which I do throughout the week as well, but about a week for me to get this video done. Is it worth it? I don't know. You tell me it's not perfect. And of course I, micro analyze every detail going oh no i should have done this or i could have done this or this isn't great but if it enabled you to crochet along with us then i'm going to count it as a success and i would love if you could give me a little pump up and say yes it was worth it because that does help and then i'll make more so if you were counting you will be getting to 31 or if you were adding that 16 with it, do that single crochet and start again. And I hope that uh, I can see some of you guys joining in some of my groups. There's a Facebook group. There's a Ravelry group. I have an Instagram page. I have, of course, this YouTube channel that you're watching right now, but I don't know how to contact people on it. I think you can just leave comments on videos. I have, what else do I got? Well, I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. And the page is not as active because it's just when I post like a blog post. So I have a website where I have the blog that's Mostly just like a, hey, I made a new pattern. Here is the details and where you can get it. And then sometimes I send out a newsletter. I am very irregular. When I have a crochet along going on, then I, that's how I started it. But I, I just am not as tech savvy as I wish. So I have lots of places that I try to keep up to date. And I try to crochet a little, and I try to design on my computer a little, and then of course there's the pattern editing, because you have to have words, you can't just have crocheting. <laughs> and then little details sneak in, people need help with this or that. When you get to the end of your blanket, do that joining stitch, I mean, sorry, that balancing stitch before doing your final end stitch. And that is the end of my coral section. You can trim your fringe if you want them to be even, right? Because sometimes we're not quite even. 
If you're covering it with an envelope border, probably doesn't matter too much. Same with this side. And there she be. Oh, I did it. Now I don't know what I'll do with this, but I have a dual-sided um something. <laughs>